research aims to improve the lives of people with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis or IPF and the way we're trying to do that is using exercise training. IPF is a disease which involves scarring of the lungs and people with IPF have very severe breathlessness and often very poor quality of life. And the disturbing thing about IPF is at the moment there's no treatment options for these people. And in our research previously, we've shown that exercise training is a really promising treatment. It improves breathlessness, it improves quality of life and improves exercise capacity. But one of the things that we saw was that we had very variable responses. So some people reported enormous benefits, whereas other people didn't do quite so well. So what we think is that the timing of when you offer the exercise training actually matters. So if you offer it early on in the disease, you achieve a lot greater benefits than if you wait and do it much later on. So our current research is aiming to investigate whether this is in fact the case. The outcome that we hope to achieve is that we'd like to define the benefits of exercise training for people with IPF. At the moment, not many people with IPF ever get offered exercise training because the current guidelines for treatment of IPF don't make strong recommendations that it should be included. What we'd like to do is be able to provide the evidence which says what sort of benefits can be achieved and when the treatment should be offered so that we can improve access to this treatment for people with IPF around the world. People with IPF have very distressing breathlessness and at the moment they really don't have any treatment options so there's very little hope for them to improve their lives. Exercise training we think has a lot of potential to improve the lives of people with IPF by reducing their breathlessness and improving their quality of life. So we think that this is a treatment that potentially could be made widely available to people with IPF and would have a really long term effect uh, on their wellbeing.